One of the biggest use case of AI is to remove objects from images. Object removal requires eliminating not only the target object but also its effects such as shadows and reflections. The problem is that diffusion-based inpainting methods often produce artifacts, hallucinate content, alter background and struggle to remove objects effects accurately and we have seen that on the channel while checking out various tools and models. That is where this new model or tool object clear is trying to help out. It is introducing a new methodology and a new data set which provides paired images with and without object effects. I think it is best described by showing it in demo. So this is their project page and if you check it out how easy it is and how clear it is to not only remove the object but also the shadow. So look at this not only the dog is gone but also the shadow is gone. Same is with this cycle. Not only the object is gone but also the shadow. So we are going to install this model locally and then we will see how exactly this works. I am going to use this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please subscribe and like the video as it helps a lot. First up, I am going to git clone the repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description too. If you're also looking to rent a VM or GPU or CPU on very, very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So please do check them out. Okay, so our repo is cloned. Next up, we need to install all the prerequisites from the root of the repo and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and now let me launch the inference demo of this object clear and we are going to check it out in the browser and the first time when we run it it downloads the model it's a lightweight model as you can see and there you go the model is now downloaded and running on our local host at port 7860 let's access it there you go so we have our object clear running let's try it out with few of the examples so I think their repo also comes with some of the examples. So let me first try their example and maybe let me make it a bit smaller so that it will fit onto the screen. Now let's try it out. Maybe I will just go with uh, this box one. Let's go up. Okay, so can we make it a bit smaller? Okay, I think that's plenty. Now one thing you need to do in order to remove any object is to click on add mask and then maybe uh, or you can just simply click on the object object is selected and then just start object clear i will also show you the vram consumption in real time so it is consuming over 14 gig of vram as you can see here Okay, so it has produced this. Okay, didn't remove it or do we need to click on add mask here? Let's add it now. Clear the clicks, add mask, click here, add mask. Come on, this is bit patchy. Now let's run it again. Let's wait for it. And there you go. So it, what it has done, you can see it has removed the box, but uh, for some weird reason, it has left this another box or maybe the base of it, which is not good. I think it should have removed everything, but it got confused in my opinion. Maybe some people would say it is correct. I don't think so. It should have done the clean stuff. And this shows the same thing when I do the slider. I will let you be the judge. I'm not going to edit it. I will just keep it as is. 
now what i'm going to do i'm also going to click here now let's remove this let's run this also sometimes i have noticed that you have to do multiple clicks you have to delete the mask and then go from there and it doesn't actually work in the first go so make sure that you click it multiple times then click on add mask and only then it works So there you go so this time it has uh, removed this thing so this is i would say correct so it has passed this test uh, maybe because of this gap it is not removing the box maybe who knows so maybe i will also try to click here in this section let me also show you the slider by the way there you go so this object is gone which is quite good okay let me click on this side so that it will also remove this I tried a lot but it's not letting me select that so I'm not going to waste more time there let me select an image from my local system and then we'll go from there and this test is pretty neat you see that I just gave it the image of my uh, cat which is this added a mask and it has completely removed it so you just need to do a bit of uh, tinkering but eventually it works I think maybe it's a gradio stuff too so maybe if you just install it use it through api it might be even um, better but even this one is quite good you see it has removed it pretty cleanly and if you notice there is a shadow here just between the feet and the body of the cat and it has removed it too and that is the main attraction of this model that it also removes the effects pretty nice Okay, let's do one more try on another image. So this is an AI generated image, which I used for another video some time back. What I'm going to do, maybe I will just remove this book and then we will see how it works. So I'll just scroll down. And as I said, you just need to click here and then add mask. And then you have to do multiple tries and now let's click on start object clear and there you go so book is gone but not really cleanly if you look closely there is still some residual of book there as you can see um, but i think we will take it as good but the, it should um, be even more intelligent to just overlay where the book was with the sheet bed sheets pattern anyway so nonetheless i think pretty good effort let me know what do you think about this model um, fairly good most of the time please like the video and uh, share it and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you for all the support